to another short and sweet where normally the bottles are short. And it's really sweet that they sent it. But it's another tall bottle. Which is even sweeter. <laughs> it's even sweeter. This one does come from uh, Mictor's Distillery. It is the 10 year rye yes. single barrel. As you can see, we've Ooh. already enjoyed a little. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, now this one is special because this is going to be the maybe the only 10 year that they release in 2022. There will be no 10 year bourbon until next year. And this is the only 10 year rye release. So. Right. Yep. This is it. It is. It, it's July right now. And that is when it is released. And that's so when it's released. So go get it. Be on the lookout. It's $185 MSRP. Ooh, that's a little spicy. But from what we remember from when we did crack this open, I'm well, just saying, no spoilers, but... Uh, let's think. I mean, Michter's is not one of the biggest distilleries, so they're a smaller right. distillery. Mm -hmm. It is a rye, which is a more expensive grain. It is only 92.8 proof, mm -hmm. but it's 10 years old. So we'll see if it's worth that 185. Ooh, Ooh, almost a smoky it note It smells there. a little different than when we opened it the other day. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's like a smoky sweetness and oh, just a char. Spice. It smells like a place or a mood or something. <laughs> An ambiance, I guess. It you smells know. like a noun, person, place, or thing. I don't know, like the first 30 minutes of a cocktail party when people start getting there and everyone's right. getting their drinks and mm -hmm. it's like a late fall evening, something like yeah. that. It smells like that. <laughs> cocktail spices and- You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, and smells- Everyone coming in from in the, the cold. Air, for sure. This is more of a Kentucky style rye, which means it has a fair amount of corn in here for being a rye. So it's not like it's a you know, 95.5. It's also not a barely legal rye, but closer to that side Just than 100% right. than, uh, or 95.5 rye. So, and that's why I think we're not getting overwhelmed with like eucalyptus and, and pine needles and Christmas and no, uh, that, that type of Yeah, feeling. there's a, definitely a balance of like a sweetness and a baking spice and something, a little touch of smoke. Yeah, yeah we still haven't drank it. To All your right. health. Oh, on the palate though, it's like, hello, no, I am a rye. And ryes, we feel like they don't need to be uh, as old or, or, or as the high age. Proof. Yeah, the, uh, the age isn't as important. Age isn't everything, we say it all the time, but age doesn't come into play as much with you, like a bourbon. Ryes mature faster. Right. So you can have a good, really, really excellent three, four year old, you know, uh -huh. rye. And then also, as you said, the proof also doesn't come into play as much. Because you have that nice rye spices that mm -hmm. are kind of giving you more warmth. This one has a very unique, almost like a vintage -y yeah. funk, but not quite, but uh -huh. it's reminiscent of that. It does remind me of a vintage boy. It's really nice. And the mouthfeel. Now. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Anytime we get sent a bottle and then we just start gushing, gushing about it. I, I always feel. I always feel like people are gonna say, well, <laughs> duh. But so, we've reviewed Mictor's Rye in the past. We we've have. reviewed Mictor's Tenure we, in the past. I do feel like I, I have to give the blanket statement that we are not sponsored by Mictor, Mictor's. They didn't give us this and trade out for an episode. We were not obligated to do an episode. They don't get to see an early cut of the episode, et cetera, et cetera. Tax et cetera. and license. So. Exactly, but it's all, you know. <laughs> it's fair to say that, Chad. Yeah. Um, but like, have loved Mictor's before this. We'll continue to love Mictor's after this. The fact that they sent us a present is like, you didn't need to make me love you more than I already do. But yeah. okay, if you want to send me something. Mm. It just tastes exceptional. You know, it, it, it tastes like that upper echelon LE type of feeling that you get mm. in some of these. And I feel like, Sarah, I have a, that this is going to go into our blind best of the year. I was about to say, I have a statement to make, and it's that I would like to throw this into the contention. So we start earmarking bottles throughout the year that we want to put in our end of the year blind best of the year contention. And this one will go in consider there. this one earmarked because yeah. this particular single barrel, there's, and if you're interested. There's something about this one. It is barrel number 22E 1692. So there could be some variants, sure. right? Sure, yeah. Um, as there will be with single as barrels. There but will be. we opened this one earlier this week and I knew I liked it then. I've been thinking about it all week, to mm. be honest. I've been thinking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you're clear, she was talking to the bottle, not me. Mm. Uh, so yeah, I would say if you can find one and the 185 is within your normal bottle means, uh, pick it up because it's or a like, good one. Or like get a group to go in on this and like bring it to a bourbon night yeah, or something. If it. you can find one, mm -hmm. totally worth it. It's yeah, delicious. Absolutely. Well, we got all caught up in the episode and forgot to tell you about our home on the internet. You know what it is. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirt that I'm wearing, hats, uh, Glenn, Cairns, Copitas, rocks glasses, water glasses, bottle cut candles, and more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. New t-shirts there. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, the opportunity to participate in a barrel pick, another round with Chad and Sarah, which we do on Fridays and more. 
Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, we'd love to have you. You can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other... Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, we'd love to have you. You can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Mictors. Until next time, drink more bourbon or rye.